The demographic dividend will be realized in the agriculture and in the non-farm informal sectors. It will not just be realized in wage and salary jobs. Right now, um, in many countries, less than 15 percent of the labor force is currently in non-farm, modern enterprise or public sector wage and salary jobs. We want that to grow as fast as it can, but with the vast number coming in, we have to face the fact that most youth are going to work where their parents uh, worked in either the agriculture sector or they're going to leave the agricultural sector and move to the non-farm informal sector. This means very small businesses, what we call mom and pop. Now, many people do indeed have a negative view of it, and it's absolutely true that there's no way that this mom and pop sector can possibly become as productive as a modern uh, garment factory. But at the same time, it's producing goods and services that are demanded by both people in the agricultural sector. It's supplying the supplies they need. It's providing services to them. It's providing personal services like getting haircuts. It's trading, etc. This sector can become more productive. There are several there are several key things to make this sector more productive. First of all, governments have to stop hurting it. Uh, local governments have to give people access to location, places to work. This is especially a problem in the larger cities in the capital, where they seem to want a modern city, which is supposed to have nobody outside on the streets, everybody you know, stuck behind a building somewhere. That's not how Asian countries realize the demographic dividend. So it starts at the top with the national government. It starts with the local government, recognizing that uh, this sector may be growing you know, fast or faster than their city is growing, and that they're going to need that number of workplaces. Then it includes uh, access to a number of other support services. Most of this sector, despite the microfinance revolution in sub-Saharan Africa, does not have access to microfinance. Uh, we need to work on that issue because everybody needs a little bit of working capital, households, businesses, whatever. Um, uh, there are issues of um, of life skills, of technical skills, of business schools. Uh, we can overdo the training, uh, so we don't want to do that, but there's clearly a, a need out there. So those are the pillars that we think are important.